Hello everyone, this is me Arijit with a new video. Now in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can train a custom model in YOLO V8 using Google Collab. Now in this video, I showed you how you can train a license plate detection model in YOLO V8. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use those custom trained models in your Raspberry Pi to detect objects. Okay. So obviously in this video, we are going to use that model we have trained in our previous uh, video that was a license plate detection model. So we are going to build a license plate detector in Raspberry Pi. Now the things we are going to do in this video is the very first thing is we are going to install all the libraries we need for uh, to install like YOLO V8, like Alteratics and all the different things. Next, I'll show you how you can actually apply this uh, custom trained models on any pre-recorded videos and uh, pre-saved images. Okay. And then I'll show you how you can actually do the object detection using the live feed. So here I have connected a webcam with my Raspberry Pi. So here I'm using Raspberry Pi version 4 uh, with 8 GB of RAM. You can also use the version 4 or 4 GB of RAM. Now version 3, I haven't tested with this piece of port, so I cannot commit on that. Uh, but yes, version 4 with 4 GB and 8 GB both are going to work. Now here I'm going to use this uh, HP W300 webcam, but you can use any other webcam. Okay, so and yes, so where I was like, we are also going to see how you can take live feed in using a webcam in Raspberry Pi and we are going to apply that object detection on the live feed. Okay, and then at the very end, we are going to discuss about the performance. So basically what FPS we are getting and then if it's really worth it using YOLO V8 in Raspberry Pi 4 or not. So all these things we are going to cover in this video. So and obviously if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe so that this kind of videos whenever we will publish next, you will get it. And now without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay guys, so now let's start and now the very first thing is if you don't know how to train your custom model in YOLO V8, please watch my last video. In that video, I showed you how you can set up uh, the whole, how you can train your custom model in Google Collab, how to install the libraries from where you can get the data set, uh, next how to train the model and next how to check if your model is working or not and then finally uh, how to predict some new images or videos using your model. So all those things I covered in my last video. So please watch that video okay and this is the google collab file i actually used in my last video that also you'll find in the uh, github repo okay so all those things please watch my last video you'll get it so now uh, i can assume that you have a custom model which you have trained in google collab okay or in your machine also but one thing remember that while you are while you are training your model in yolo v8 please use this repository that i have provided in my last video or i'm providing in this video to train your model okay because see uh, there are many version of alphabetics and other libraries also so sometimes what happens that you train your model in some other version and then you are you are trying to test it in some other model uh, in some other version so you will get a lot of problems so i'll recommend that you use this repository to train your model and then you make your custom model next you come to this video and from here you test this model on raspberry pi okay now as you can see in the repo i already have my train model base.pt this is a model i have trained now obviously this is not a best license prediction model so uh, basically here i have taken a very small data set of 400 uh, 400 license plate images and i have trained the model and i have only trained up to 100 epochs but still it actually works quite well okay so you can watch my last video to see the performance, but it works quite well, but this is not the best model. Okay. So the purpose of this video is to show you how you can train your custom model and how to use in Raspberry Pi. Now, if you have to make a very good model, you need a very big data set. Okay. Which I told you last video, how to get a very big data set. And then also you have to train it for a quite a long time. Then only you are going to get a very good model. Okay. So if this model is not very good for you, then train your own model. Okay. And uh, you can do it in Google Collab. You don't need a very powerful machine for that. Okay. So now from here, I will assume that you have a good train model, which you have already tested, which is working. Okay. And for testing, you can use my model. So this model you will get in the repo. So you can use this model in Raspberry Pi. Okay. And it will work in most of the license plates, I would say. Okay. So now uh, at this point uh, we have our model and we also have all these files now i'll show you how to uh, how you can install all the libraries in raspberry pi and how you can actually utilize this model to do the detection okay 
Now here I'm going to use, like I already mentioned, I'm going to use Raspberry Pi uh, 4 and with the 8 GB version. And another thing is I'm using the 64, uh, 64 bit operating system. So while you will install the Raspberry Pi OS, I'll show you here also. While you install the OS, make sure that you go to choose OS. And here you don't choose this Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. You go to Raspberry Pi OS other and there you select Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit. Why 64 bit? Because in 32 bit installing few libraries will can be a little bit of headache and I uh, you can get some problems there. But while like in 64 bit, it's very easy to install all those libraries. That's why I really recommend you that I'm also using 64 bit and you also use 64 bit only. Okay. And from there you install Raspberry Pi OS and you boot into Raspberry Pi. Okay. And after that, so I already have started my Raspberry Pi and also I have connected a camera, which is HP 300 camera with my Raspberry Pi. You can use any other webcam also. Next, in this video, I'm going to use VNC viewer to control my Raspberry Pi, but you can also use HDMI connection or whatever you want. So here I'll connect with my Pi. Here I'm inside my Pi, as you can see. Now, the very first thing is we have to clone our repo. So I'll open my terminal and I'll go to my desktop. I'll go and in my desktop i have to clone this repo so i'll come here i'll just copy this link next i'll go to my pi and i'll just do git clone and i'll write this thing paste so it will take few seconds to clone the repo so let's wait for it so it's done Next, we will go inside this report. So license plate uh, detection using your V8. You will go inside it and you have this many files here. Okay. Now what things we have? Uh, we have the model. We have two demo files, one demo video, one demo image. We have a requirements.txt file where you have all the libraries required. You have a list of that with their versions required. And you have to install libraries of this version only. If you use some other version, you can get problems. Okay. So use this versions only. You also have the Google Colab file, which you don't need in this video. And finally, you have the ultra fix files, which we need in this video. Okay. Now, here at first, what I'll do, uh, I'm going to use this uh, demo dot, uh, basically demo dot mp4 file. So demo dot mp4 file, actually, I can show you. I guess I have already downloaded it. So I'll show you the demo file. Okay. Oh, wow. I can actually show you in the Raspberry Pi. So I can just go here. Here we have the demo.mp4. And so continue. And as you can see, this is the demo.mp4 file. Okay. So it is a little lagging here in, in the VLC in our Raspberry Pi. Okay. So just a minute. Okay. It is, it is really lagging a lot, not a little bit. Uh, let me just show you here only demo.mp4 so this is the demo.mp4 file okay it is the result one i guess this is the raw one yes this is the raw one i want to show you first so a little bit the video that i have just a minute Turn on the volume yeah so as you can see this is the demo.mp4 file we are going to use okay this file you will get in my github repo and it will be downloaded with the while you will clone it so this is the file we are going to use it okay now at first i'm going to test in this file so here we have it now what now to uh, basically to apply this uh, your this model the custom model base.pt uh, on any mp4 or jpeg file what you really need to do is you need to write python okay before that you need to install libraries i forgot so to install libraries very simple pip install art requirements.txt that simple i already have installed the requirements so it will say that all the requirements are satisfied but in your case it will take some time to install the required files okay so once you are done installing the requirements all the required libraries just give me a moment yes next we are ready to uh, basically predict using a video so what you will do you will write python next you have to go inside a folder so we'll go inside the uh, so basically the folder which we see ultralytics so python ultralytics slash we have to go inside yolo inside that we have to go inside version 8 then inside that detect and then there is a file called predict okay predict.py this is the predict.py this is the file which is going to do the prediction on the videos or the images next what next we have to give the model name so model equal to in my case it's best.pt 
okay if you use some other model give it that name okay next finally you have to give the source so in my case the source would be our what is the name demo dot mp4 okay you can use any other jpeg image jpg image png image whatever you want finally another thing which is not necessary but i'll give which is show equal to true what this will do this is going to show us a preview basically okay how it is detected in number place if you don't give show equal to true what will happen it is just going to render it's just going to take the file and going to uh, write the output in a folder but if you give show equal to true it's going to also show you how it is detecting now click the enter it will take few seconds to load the model and initialize all the things so let's just wait for a few seconds okay so as you can see as you can see here it is detecting a number pack quite well okay but as you can see here uh, it is detecting it but the fps it's not that good it's i think it's we are getting around one fps okay so it's like it's processing one frame per second okay not that of real time i would say but as you can see it's working okay and if you want to see a full demo how it will look like at the end after it will write it i'll show you that also so i'll just close this one so i already have saved that so this is the demo so if i show you this is how the output file after it will complete doing the whole process is going to write that file and this is how it will look like so as you can see it is mostly detecting all the number pits correctly okay so this is how it's going to work next what i'll do another thing is so this is how you can actually uh, predict using a mp4 file or a jpeg file okay next also maybe you have connected a camera with your raspberry pi and you want to do it live so from your camera feed that also i'll show you so how you can do it you just have to write uh in just in the last command so let me just clear it so source equal to demo.mp4 instead of this you need to write source equal to zero this is the only change you have to do zero means we are going to use the uh basically source zero means the uh, zero to webcam we can say if you have multiple webcams you get one two three four in this way and if you're using raspberry pi camera then the process is not that simple in that case you have to capture the frames from raspberry pi camera and you have to process them in the yolo little bit complicated so webcam is the easiest way okay but yeah you can go with raspberry pi camera you have to modify the code so now let's try with this one and let it run in the meantime what i'll do is i'll just come here and i'll just search for uh number plates in car okay so and i'll go to images a lot of number plates are here so we are going to try in this number plate so now as you can see the window has opened uh, i'll just make this window a little smaller okay in this way and here in this side we have this window so yeah this is fine so this is basically a live window okay and as you can see you i hope you can see me now as you can see you can see me okay so like i said it's not live or my it's live but obviously the fps is not that high but still you can see it is detecting number plates quite well as you can see all the number plates in the frame these are like these are not in the train set okay these are all just i search in google but still you as you can see it's detecting the number plates properly even if i scroll down okay you will see number plates are very small but still it is detecting them quite well let me scroll down a little bit more okay so if i scroll down as you can see in most of our number plates is detecting them quite well okay So this is how it's working and so uh, as you can see in uh, basically here uh, if you use a camera you are going to get a similar fps which is i think one fps around okay not more than that you are going to get okay and also it depends on a model so this model is not a very big model that's a very important thing that this is the size of this model is only 6 mbs it's not a very big model and secondly uh, if you check my code and if you know a little bit about yolo model so here we are using yolo 8n okay so let me show you my training code so uh, requirements yeah here if you see while training this model i have used aolo v8n now there are more models there is yolo 8x v8x which is a 
what i can say it's like more accurate model but the size will be also bigger the fps will be less so while you are actually working on devices like raspberry pi i really recommend you use yolo v8n only so what will happen your model size will be less and secondly if you also use some bigger data set your model size will be bigger if you train it for bigger epochs it will, the size will be bigger okay now here i have only trained for 100 epochs and also my images i have used are 400 images around so that's why my model is very small that's why i'm getting about one fps if your model will be much more complicated you will get a less fps that's one thing okay now now let's talk about the performance that we are as we saw like we are getting around one fps speed now is it really worth it like train a model in yolo and then you can then you just take it in raspberry pi and you run it it does it really worth it like getting one fps now the thing is you, if you're thinking about application where you need real time so at least you need 20 30 fps around in that case obviously it doesn't worth it so in real life number plate detection like you want to install it somewhere in the road and you want cars are passing by you want to detect it recognize it not worth it but in some cases it's worth it where maybe see it's one uh, one fps you are getting that means one frame per second so that means if you have an application where you have images and from those images you want to detect something it's here as an example we took number plate but it could be anything anything you have to detect maybe or you have to segment okay and uh, it's not a real time you don't need 20 30 fps okay you just have got an image and now you do have to do the detection or segmentation in those cases this thing really worth it because it's just taking one second because see uh, loading the model will take few, some time let's say few seconds but then once the model got loaded in the memory then it will not take time for a detection it will hardly take one second per image okay if we take if we just think of it a 64 uh, 64 into 64 image it will take hardly one second so in those cases it really worth it because see training yolo is pretty much accurate training a custom model is in yolo is easy okay i gave you the whole template you can upload any data set you can train it no problem in it next take the model in raspberry pi and you can run in such a easy way so you don't need to write any code you just have to use the alternatives predict.py you can use video you can use image you can use even your webcam everything you can use so overall using this overall uh, system is very easy training the model then bring it to yolo and then they bring it to raspberry pi uh, then running it is very easy so in those cases it's really worth it okay like it's dependent on the application now if you really want in your in your raspberry pi if you want it in real time so if you have an application where you want the whole thing in real time in that case what i suggest you can use tf light so you are already working on a project okay where we are using tf light instead of light to do the object detection in that case we are we can get a very good fps in raspberry pi also without using an external gpu okay so there are many gpu external gpu modules you can use it with raspberry pi if you use those modules with you also will get speed but without those modules also using tf light we can get a good fps and that project we are working on and very soon that project we will upload in, your ch in our channel okay so using tf light how you can do uh, almost real time object detection in raspberry pi okay so if you want real time object detection in raspberry pi in that case you can go to those kind of models tf light and stuff but yeah if you want to a very easy way to train your model and then you want maybe one fps per second one fps is fine for you yule is a very good uh, option for you i'll say okay so i think that's all about this video okay so if you have any queries you let me know in the comment section and i'll try to answer you all of the questions okay so this is all about this video guys i hope you have learned something from this video so please hit the like button subscribe to the channel so many more videos on similar topics like yolo tensorflow light raspberry pi we are already working on and very soon those videos will be available in our channel so so that you will not miss them please subscribe to the channel okay and now uh, i'll see you in the very next video